But the, the notion that there's such a thing as gender, that's not right. There's variability in personality and temperament. Right. And the idea that, right. that, that okay. there's no such thing as biological sex, that's, a, that's, that's, that's just insane. insane. And, and nobody says that. that. That would be insane if people believed that there was no such thing as biological sex. But thankfully, everyone does believe that biological sex is a thing. So... Oh, so I don't know if you, you missed it. There were there two more additions to the audible hums and was. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right there? So we're up to eight. We're up to eight what? audible oh, I miss... verbal cues of confusion. Oh, I missed them. Oh, right. Okay, good. I'm, nope. I'm so, caught up now to eight. Th this point really annoys me. Uh -huh. Supremely. This, this point triggers me to some extent. Because I feel like it's the height. The height of intentional dishonesty and intentional and intentionally being obtuse pretending to be stupid we see this a lot these internet conversations where two people are saying something or one person says something and the other person knows what they mean but pretends not to so they can interpret it in the most uncharitable Unchar way yeah. possible it is gaslighting it is okay. dishonesty at its height it's very dishonest it's being intentionally obtuse and they do this all the time and they did this with jk rowling and are doing it here where someone says something like, oh, sex is real. And they say, what are you talking about? No one says sex isn't real. No one says that. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. And it's so annoying because you'd say, wait a minute. What do you think they mean? When Jordan Pearson says sex is real or J.K. Rowling says sex is real, what do you think those words mean together? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you think that Jordan Peterson and J.K. Rowling believe that there are people out there wandering around that, that think people don't actually have dicks and vaginas and that it's a conspiracy that everyone really has the same genitalia and it's been a conspiracy to trick people into thinking that there's different genitals out there? Do you think that's the position George Peterson and J.K. Rowling have? Well, fuck, of course that's not their position. Yeah. Obviously, when someone says something like sex is real, what they're referring to is the claim that gender activists on the left make that there is no biological basis for the categorization of sex and or gender. Yes. Okay? That's what those words mean when someone says sex is real. They mean this is not this is something based in biology that exists independently of human perception okay it is an objective fact of the universe of the world that's what they're saying bosh and guess what there are people that we've heard and talked about and covered that disagree with that yes lindsay ellis disagrees with that yes riley dennis disagrees with that yes okay they had a whole riley dennis had a whole video where they're like sex is a social construct yes and she didn't mean it in the universalistic sense she meant it in the terms of like it's an arbitrary distinction sense yes just, where did also where does nom i just i don't get like i'm a scientist i'm in the field i'm studying mm -hmm. frogs where's the non-binary coming <laughs> i'm just curious i'm like Right, and then they do this. What? They do this thing. Where that's, do I categorize that? <laughs> they do this thing that's that's equally dishonest, where they point to like with the non-binary stuff. They'll point to um, intersex people mm -hmm. who have some actual genetic reason for their biological condition, and they'll say, "See, sex isn't a binary because there are people that have genetic conditions." <laughs> right. And you're like, okay, so because 1.7% of the population has an extra chromosome or missing a chromosome means sex is in a binary. It's one fuck out of here. Seven percent? That's giant. It's it's some it's some tiny okay. some tiny it's maybe even less than that. It's a very small amount right. of people. That encompasses all of the various possible mutations. But there are a lot of people coming out and identifying as non-binary that aren't intersex. No, no, but that's the thing. If if the woke position was that intersex people should be able to, people with biological intersex conditions should be able to identify as some 
third or non-binary gender, mm -hmm. we wouldn't be having this conversation. No one would give a fuck. Okay. Jordan Pearson would not care. I don't even think Ben Shapiro would care. No one would care. They say, okay, because that's rooted in something objective. The problem is that they're taking something. First of all, they're claiming that gender and sex are not rooted in objective criteria. Correct. Or yeah. that they're arbitrary, which Didn't is they, equally There's malicious. a clip in this video where she says that. Right. It for was, gender. It was inserted. Yeah. For gender, not for sex. Okay. But because they still make the argument that sex is an arb. I don't know if Vosh does. An arbitrary. But other leftists we've heard make the make the the point that they say sex is an arbitrary social construction, which is an insane thing to say. I gotta tell you this, Sasha. Sasha in the chat says mm -hmm. they're making the freaking frogs non-binary. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's that's what you tell them when you're doing the research. Right. I just it's so bizarre. It's so bizarre that <laughs> that we're we're having all of these conversations and about sex and gender that just <laughs> You and you know how and you know how they know you know how Vosh and the other leftists know that this the arguments they're making about no one says sex isn't real is bullshit. Uh huh. How? If they actually, if they honestly believe that, no one would have given a fuck when J.K. Rowling said sex is real. Because mm -hmm. they'd say, "Well, of course, sex is real." I don't understand. No one says it's not. Oh yeah, you're right. Obviously, yeah. But they, they all flipped their shit. They flipped their because shit they because understood they, they, what yeah. she was saying. Right. What was underlying that idea? They're they're saying, they're the way they take it is she's saying that you can't change your your gender or sex that's right. the way they take it but well she she's saying you can't change your sex jay mm -hmm. crawling has said that she's she's fine with people changing their gender and transitioning and she's she supports people mm -hmm. doing that her only contention was that she thought that well she had two contentions she thought that trans women shouldn't necessarily go be allowed in every space that mm -hmm. would be a space for a cis woman mm-hmm was her first contention. And her second contention, which I guess is based off this too, is that she thinks there should retain a categorical distinction between a cis woman and a trans woman. Right. Yeah. Those were her two, two, her two big contentions. She wasn't even against people transitioning. She was right. just saying we need to keep these categories intact, not right. deconstructed. To do a true sex change, you'd have to have a lot of work done. A lot of work. Well, it's impossible. I mean, it's impossible now. Why? Obviously, you can't have a, a true... like. You couldn't change your your structure of your brain, your you know chromosomes. Just it's like new yeah, brain. Obviously. Put a new brain in. <laughs> well, new, when you can new, copy your listen, new eyes, listen, new Adam. new ears. Adam, we'll talk. This is like on Thursday, okay? New. I don't know if you guys know this. Adam is in favor of killing himself. You need a and new copying nervous his system. brain and putting it on a computer, okay? In favor? You said you would do it. Well, I guess I am in favor. <laughs> Okay, so what if you had to? What if you had to do that, but it, mm. it transes you? Okay, you'll be a girl on the computer. <laughs> mm, interesting. But how do you know I don't want to do that girl, anyway? Okay. How do? You, oh, okay. Well, there you go. So you Adam's on board with that. I'm going in as non-binary. He's going to be an Adrian Barbolbot. He's going into it. Have you seen all the people in the metaverse are non-binary already? They got no nothing from the waist down. <laughs> That's right. What if you go in as Pikachu? I mean, does Pikachu have a gender? I don't know. Not I would, that I can see. I would have so much fun being Pikachu. Yeah, oh right. My goodness. Zapping people. <laughs> oh, it's really a non-issue. Sanity. They've, they've, they've abstracted gender from sex. See, that this is another thing that they do. Like, Vosh is saying that it's a non-issue. The, that's a that's another huge like straw man that they build up of the right. They want to make every single argument anyone on the right has is just like a made up cope, a made up straw man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Made Their up, straw man is that the right is always making up straw man in order to engage people in a culture war to get yeah, votes. Yeah. Turning turning right. something that's not a conflict into a conflict. Right. Which is I mean, just, I, that drives me I get, insane. I got, I've been in arguments with family members and friends with, about with CRT because that's what they say. The mainstream narrative is that CRT is not being taught in school. This is a made up talking point by the right wingers. Right. Yeah. And it's like, 
but it, but the, the same thing holds true. Is like, oh, wait a minute. If it's if that's true, okay. If we're to assume that CRT is not being taught in school, then why would you care if they outlawed CRT being taught in elementary <laughs> school? Devastating. Okay. Why Devastating. would you care if it's not happening? Why do you care? And then the response is always the same. The response is always, well, because they're not actually outlawing CRT. They're making it illegal to study history and talk about slavery and racism in school. And I go, oh, okay. Well, that would be concerning if that was happening. So let me take out my amazing box of all information called my phone that has all information in the world. And let me Google search the bill you're talking about. Let's look up uh, anti-CRT bill by state. And let me get the actual wording of it. And every single fucking time I've had this conversation with anyone and I read the actual writing in the bill, mm -hmm. they all say, I don't have a problem with what that bill is. <laughs> I know. <laughs> because every bill is like, because, and here it's funny because I, I, I realized there's like a think tank that's going around all these states writing these anti-CRT bills. And they all use like almost the same language. And they're all basically just like, you can't uh, blame someone's, you, you can't hold someone responsible for the sins of their ancestors based on their skin color. You can't teach that people have inherent traits based on their race. Like it's all like the most basic bitch liberal shit that we've had for 50 years in this fucking country that no one had a problem with. And yet the media just lies and lies and fucking lies about these anti-CRT bills like crazy. It's so funny because the left could put up a bill with exactly the same language yes. and call it an anti-discrimination bill. Th it's th fucking, that's basically what that's it is. That's what's insane. You're so right. Any, and that, that would be a hilarious thing for, see, if our late night hosts were not all partisan hacks, or if we had like a competent daily show like we used to, I know they could have taken. That would have been the that would have been the genius sketch. Look, someone will tell what, what's that guy who does all the left right sketches that are very funny. Oh, I Ryan can't Long. Remember. Yeah, that's it, Ryan Long. Yeah, someone will tell this to Ryan Long. Say like, Ryan Long, go get the. Well, tell us the actual Justice Warrior or Nuance Bro. Okay, mm -hmm. anyone take this idea who's not an antisocial fuck like me. Just get the the language of the anti-CRT bills in Florida or Texas or wherever, and you go interview people in the street and you and you pretend you say, you know, the Democrats are trying to push this anti-discrimination bill and you read off this anti-CRT bill yes. and see what the people say. See if they say that they're in favor or against it. I know. They'll be totally in favor of it, obviously. I no know, it's ridiculous. Think of the it's opposite ridiculous. of what you're saying too. The argument that you're making is so, it's so devastating because it, it completely takes the wind out of the sails of that this is uh, something made up. Like if, if, it tr if it truly is not in schools, then, why, then obviously you wouldn't care if they right. ban it. But think of the opposite of that. And the, the right really doesn't care because the left is constantly putting up a new anti-discrimination bill and saying, you know, we have to, we need this new anti-discrimination bill because the right is discriminating like crazy and the right doesn't lose their shit over it. They're like, Oh great. We have like 16 million laws already saying the same thing, you know, go mm -hmm. ahead, pass it. Who cares? Right. They don't care about these anti-discrimination bills. They're like, nobody's being discriminated anyway. They literally do not think discrimination exists. So they don't care about your anti-discrimination bill. 